Huga Huga Gardener. These are my muscadine grapevines. And we're in the spring right now. We're at the end of February, beginning of March is coming up. And you need to trim your muscadine grapevines or they get all tangled and they'll grow a lot more leaves than they will grapes. So, without getting into all the terminology of the parts and all that, like other people do on other channels, which is great, I'm a simple guy. All I want to do is trim them and get it done. You just go ahead and you look for your main vine right over here. And what you want to do is you just want to count one, two. You could feel it. One, two. That's where the buds were. And you cut it just like that. Then right here, one, two. Give it a cut. Then right here, one, two. You could feel it. Give it a cut. Right here, one, two. And right here, one, two. That's cut. Now on this one, one, two. Okay, that's all cut. It could be discarded now. Real simple. Now this one here, you go one, two. I can feel two right there, so I'm going to cut it. This one here, I'm going to feel one, two, give it a cut. On this one right here, one, one, two, give it a cut. And now on this one right here, I can just feel right here, one, two, give it a cut. And basically that's all you do right here is do all of them one two Feel this big one right here one two give it a cut Okay, so as you can see it's really simple You just feel the buds one two one two that was one, two, could have been done right there. So, and you don't have to be exact. And you can see all the water coming out of it already. But that's what you want to do, and you want to go all the way down, the top and the bottom, because you want to get all of them. Um, so it's fairly simple. Let me go right over here, and we'll get this one. Okay, so right over here, you can see this big one right up here. So let's just go one, two, right here. One, two. And right here, gonna count, there's one, two. So this could be cut right here. And this one could be cut right here. One, two. One, two. So these could be cut right here. That's it. Real simple. Now I'm just going to work my way all the way down. So I'm just going to work my way all the way down, all the way back, all the way to all my other grapevines. Probably not going to be done in a day, so I just wanted to do a little short video. You can see all the nice green growth. Well, you see how nice and green this is here? And it's pouring out water. If I just touch it, that's all water. Can you see that? They're real healthy. And I'm just going to trim them up just like that. Some of these I'll cut off. Don't need to. And go all the way down. What you don't want to do is you don't want to leave this mess. 
all the way down like this. You want to trim all this off. So anyway, that was my video. I just simplified it. All you got to do is look for this coming off. Go one, two buds, cut. One, two buds, cut. Simple as can be. Don't need all that terminology. All I want to do is trim them, cut them, prune them, get it over with. It's hot out here and let my grapes grow. Back at you. Okay, so I went ahead and finished trimming up all these muscadines. Now I have my drip irrigation hanging up right now because I'm working underneath the vines, but this is what it looks like. You can see that they're all trimmed off. You can see them all right here really good. They're all like one, two, one, two. You don't have to be accurate, but pretty much they need to be trimmed. Now right over here is the separation. That's those vines and these vines right here in the center. So this is a different vine. I went ahead and trimmed it up. Even the small ones. I stopped it right here in the center. I still got to have one come up and go that way. So I'm hoping one grows out of here this season. So this is the center. It's clipped. It's clipped. This is a different vine. It's a different variety of muscadine as well. This is where it comes up splits that way and now I'm trying to get it to go that way now this is a different vine coming up I trained it to come up to the top it has to grow that way and it's along the bottom over here like that this is the center so this is a different vine this is where my vine comes up and splits into another one over here I cut it off right there. The center is probably over here. It has to grow a little bit more. This is another vine. It's coming up and it's split in that way and this way, plus up that way, and I want it to go that way. Okay, this is the center point right here, so I cut it. This vine here is going to be attached and grow that way. This one comes up, goes that way, goes that way, comes up, goes that way, and goes that way. And this is the end one, so it just comes up and goes that way and goes that way. So that's it. Now the tricky part over here is... I have muscadines growing up here. They come up that way. They go that way, this way, and they're going to go along this right up here. You can kind of see they come up, goes that way, goes that way, goes up that way and that way, and they're growing over my arch over here. So anyway, those are going to be fun. So I'm going to go down the end and start and work my way around for the ones up over the entries of the garden I'll have to get on a ladder over there but the majority of them I could just do by hand over here but those entry points I got way up high but these are manageable right over here now this fine and this fine's too close so I want to take this one and I'm going to lower it right over to here um, and I'm going to drop these vines down. Right now this vine goes up and I'm going to bend it so it's down around over here. So I got some work cut out for me. And these are my corners over here. And this one's coming up, coming this way, going that way, and going that way. So let me get to work. Okay, moving right along. I went ahead and got all these trimmed all the way down here 
and we'll go ahead and take a little walk and see all these top ones and bottom ones are trimmed maybe you can see both of them over here together There's a little empty space here that needs to fill in. Here's another vine. And down the end over here is another vine. Now this vine comes up, it's going that way and that way. I still gotta have two branches here that I left go that way. But now we gotta go ahead and tackle that side. So anyway, that's what happens when you got a lot of grapevines. So let me get at it. Okay, so I just finished all my muscadines. I had to get the ladder out to do the entrance on both sides. And this is what it all looks like. So you can see the vine comes up and it splits two ways. You can see I trimmed it so this bottom one's going to go up and over. And that one there is cutting across this way. This is the center. And the same thing over here. It goes up, comes over, it's going to go up that way, up and over, and this one goes up and around. Went ahead and did all that down there, and went ahead and did this whole vine going around this way. You can see all that's done. Comes up over here. I did this whole section going all the way down over here, did the top section, and did all of this going across my gate entranceway. So basically, that's it. I'm done. Get your muscadines trimmed and ready for spring growth. Talk to you later. Hey, this is pretty cool. I had some bluebirds in my birdhouse last year. They had eggs, and they hatched, and there was babies. Well, just a little bit ago, right over here, there were some babies in there. They're building a nest. There's a pair, man, male and female. I'm pretty sure they're probably the offspring from last year's. I think that's pretty cool.